everyone, Matt here, Home Farm Ideas, and today I'm just hanging around my uh, one of my aquaponic beds. Um, this is the larger bed that I have, um, and if you guys check this card right here, you guys can see that I grew sweet potatoes in it last year. Well, not really last year. It was it was not too long ago, but basically I grew sweet potatoes in it. It went really well. So I thought this year I would try Yukon Golds. So if you guys want to subscribe. Uh, to the channel and uh, make sure you click that bell icon because I'm gonna have updates on this one um, the last time I did the sweet potato video I just did the whole video um, from uh, planting to harvest well now I'm gonna do update videos um, and I just want to kind of show you guys the progression um, so anyway hit that bell icon so this is what we're gonna be growing here and this is totally unprompted I just the sweet the, the potatoes just fell into my hands there so anyways um, so we're gonna be using uh, Yukon Golds this year okay and so I wanted to show you guys how I'm planting them in my AP system and kind of some ideas as to um, how you can get a better harvest um, and get better growth in your plants okay so one of the things that I wanted to point out in AP systems versus soil Okay, um, well, it's it's not too much different. You just have to adjust just a little bit. Okay, so I threw this Yukon Gold in about three days ago. And as you can see, we already got new roots sprouting. The eye or the um, whatever this thing is, <laughs> it's sticking up, okay? And so you want to make sure that you always have that sticking up. Um, and then you also... Um, you want to make sure that you're planting it. Um, I think with soil, you want to do like six inches deep, five to six inches deep. But with an AP system, uh, it's really not necessary to do that. Um, that I've found so far. Uh, this is going to be the first time I'm growing these, but with the sweet potatoes, they do grow a little differently. So I'm going to be learning on these as well. But I don't think you need it that deep in an AP system, okay? So this bed is actually 13 inches deep. So it's plenty deep. But potatoes hate, and I and I, I, I want to repeat that, they hate, like at this stage, they hate being too moist, okay? So I'm going to do something with my bed to make sure that I'm not uh, having this uh, seed potato sitting in the water too long, okay? So let's go ahead and let's cover this up. And with the amount that I'm covering it up, it's, it's probably working out to about three inches deep, okay? Not saying this is the standard for AP systems, but as you guys know, a lot of you guys know that they say you can't grow root vegetables in AP systems. That's bogus, okay? Straight up, you can. You just have to use your mind a little bit and try to adjust things a little bit. So one of the things that I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you. <laughs> this is a bell siphon, okay? This bell siphon is made to allow the water to flood the bed all the way up and then drain all the way down okay the bell this is just a shroud to keep the these clay pebbles from actually going down my drain and back to my sump tank I keep the lid on because I don't want algae growing in here but so this shroud just keeps the pellets out okay this is the actual bell half of the bell siphon okay basically uh, I mean you guys can check out this video that I have here for my bell siphon and how it works but um, as you can see, there's water in there, okay? Now, I want, um, in these cases right now, I don't want a lot of water in here. I just want these things to start sprouting. I want the, the potatoes to start sprouting, but I don't want them in constant water. And if we look, I don't know if you guys can see it. So it's dry, right? If you just go a little down, it's wet, okay? So what I want to do, my cat's over there talking to the birds. What I want to do is I want to make sure that I'm not having... Uh, wet conditions here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do as an experiment I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this Standpipe out of here, which is gonna drain the whole bed Okay, that's gonna drain my whole bed. Okay now um, Water evaporates. Okay, and so a lot of the water it's not like it's gonna like you're not gonna get uh, moisture you are still gonna have moisture under these clay pebbles it's just not gonna be as aggressive because right now it's wet under these pebbles where if I do it like this 
it'll still retain the moisture and I've tested this. So the, 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 the evaporation goes up through these things, through these clay pebbles, and you still retain moisture. Plenty enough to get these seed potatoes started. So that's what I'm doing. That's one of the things that I do when I'm growing uh, root vegetables like potatoes. Carrots, it doesn't matter. You can grow carrots like crazy in, in AP systems and they will grow like crazy, okay? So, but this is one of the things that I'm trying out with potatoes because they are a little more finicky. Um, sweet potatoes, not so much, but uh, Yukon Golds, definitely. I've, I put them in my system and they just rot it out. Um, so I adjust it. All right, so I still have water coming into the bed but now it's draining constantly. So it's constantly coming in and constantly draining, but there's only gonna be about an inch of water or a half an inch of water at the bottom at any given time. So this is basically, and the, the side benefit of this is it's actually gonna be filtering the water a lot quicker now because it's a constant flow through all these clay pebbles, okay? Which gives bacteria tons of food. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's start planting out our potatoes. And I'm just gonna do one or two rows just to kind of show you guys uh, how I do it. All right, so here we have the seed potato. Okay, hopefully you guys can see it in the camera. So you have a couple eyes on this. Now I could basically cut this in half right here and I can have two seed potatoes, but I'm not gonna be that anal about it this uh, right now I'm just gonna go ahead and plant it out and we have one already planted here so you do want to give them a little bit of room so I'm gonna give them probably 10 inches of room and I'm gonna push them down this is how easy it is to plant them I'm gonna push this down about three inches I'm not gonna bury it over because see how I have the indention right here so I'm not gonna bury it just yet because I need to plant out my other ones and I need to know where they are okay so I can put the cap back on the shroud to keep algae from growing, okay? Let me grab another potato here. Another one, good eye, okay? Or good uh, sprout on it. And you know we have it right here, so actually, hmm. Okay, one thing you don't wanna do is you don't wanna plant too close to the shroud, okay? Because with all plants, all of them, they all of them want to chase the nutrients. So wherever the water is flowing, that's where the roots really get crazy and they get thick. Okay, so let me see if I can, if that's going to be on camera there. Yep, we're good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plant this here. And again, we're doing about 10 inches apart. So I'm thinking right here should be all right. Three inches deep. And yes, the whole bed is moving. Because <laughs> when there's no water in it, it's not as, you know, heavy. There we go. Now, whatever dies, these worms are, that I have in here, and yes, I did uh, put worms in my system, um, composting worms, because they will eat any waste, okay? So, about 10 inches, so we're gonna go right about here again. It's gonna be really cool if this works. Um, the one thing that I didn't like about the sweet potatoes was they were still good and everything, but um, they they were a little ugly, I would have to say. Um, if you watched the last video that I put in the card section already, um, you could see that I basically, oh, you know what, and I put, them in, I put them in a root pouch as well, and the root pouch, the, the vines from the sweet potatoes was going down into the root pouch and it was getting its nutrients that way, okay? So, um, uh, the sweet potatoes that were in the root pouch did really well uh, looking. They, they looked a lot better, okay? So, so I'm wondering how these are gonna go. So let's see if I have this part on camera as well. Now, nah. all right, well that's it for that one. So let's get to the next part. All right, so as you can see, these little dimples in the clay, okay? So I just need to fill all these in. And this is how hard it is right here. Watch it. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Bam. See? You never knew it happened. Sorry I'm holding the camera, but I'm not a camera person, I guess. I don't know. So, I wanted to do a little bit of a plug here as well. 
Um, one of my buddies on YouTube here, Todd, he just hit the 1,000 subscriber mark. I want all of you guys to go over there and subscribe to his channel. Um, Todd's a, he's a really cool guy. Todd, you're a, you're a cool guy, man. So, he shows a lot of love to people. And he's right. We're not here for very long. That's what he says in his videos, you know? And uh, I like that. Yeah, Todd's name will be in the description below. Um, there's no real reason why I'm plugging Todd other than I like him. Um, a lot of you guys will like him as well. He's an experimenter. He likes to experiment. And one of the things that he's got me doing right now is he's got me thinking about 3D printing again. Um, he does 3D printing on his channel. He does gardening and all that stuff, you know. And um, one of the things that I wanted to do for my channels was I wanted to uh, do 3D printing on my science channel, um, which you'll find in the description as well. Join me on Instagram, by the way, you guys. Instagram.com forward slash home farm ideas. I post stuff there all the time. But anyways, so, you know, he's inspiring me to do this uh, 3D printing. So I'm going to be buying a 3D printer. And I'm going to be posting videos on my science channel, but not only my science channel, I got a lot of ideas for my um, uh, home farm ideas for 3D printing parts. And I also have um, a fish tank channel, which I know a lot of you guys don't know about. Um, go and subscribe to all the channels that I have um, in the description below, you guys. I'm going to put everything down there, that way you guys can see it, okay? Um, and then subscribe to Todd's channel. Um, and you know, plug people in your videos. If you're doing videos, plug other people. I mean, it it only grows um, us closer, I think, you know? Um, minus the fact that we're on YouTube, we're using this platform to reach one another. Um, and so I was reaching you guys growing food. I grow food because um, I wanna give my family the best. So with that said, please uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Definitely subscribe so you get updates on this because I'm telling you it's gonna be really cool I hope you know the onions didn't go very well, which I'm gonna be posting a video on that here pretty soon But I'm I'm hoping this will go really good and so hit the bell icon so you get all my video updates and uh, Yeah, I look forward to doing much more videos on these other channels you guys. I'm telling you it's gonna be fun so hit the subscribe button subscribe to my other two channels subscribe to Todd's channel and um, Yeah keep building. Thank you, Todd. You've been a, an inspiration to me, a new inspiration to me, and I really appreciate it, bro. So God bless you guys. And like always, peace.